All right. Um, so, hi, everybody. We're going to talk really quickly about the different parts of basic music staff. Um, and we'll just dive right in and get started. We talked about this a little bit before in music class, but I just thought everybody could use a little refresher. So, um, let's talk about just treble staff only. And what we see here is um, the five line four space staff. Um, and I've got four measures set up. So each one of these is what we call a measure. And at the end of a piece of music, we have the double bar line here. Now you might wonder what these rectangles are. Those are called whole rests. Basically, it's just a, a four beat rest that fills up the entire measure. And it's just kind of a placeholder waiting for me to come in here and add some more notes and stuff. But, uh, and we, we might do a little bit of that in, in here in a little bit. Um, so first thing we'll talk about is the treble clef, also known as the G clef. Um, it's a, it looks like a fancy G if you look at it the right way. Uh, it makes a circle, kind of a target around that G line, that, that um, second line right there that just tells everybody that that's G. So that's our treble clef. Um, <clears throat> this is the key signature. It tells everybody where Do is, and Do is going to be on the F space right here. Um, and you can see it's already helped me out by adding a quarter rest and then a half rest. So if you check that out, we've got a quarter note followed by a quarter rest, and <clears throat> we have a two beat half rest here. And that brings me to my next topic, which is the time signature, which is right here. Um, basically the time signature just tells us how many beats go into each measure and we can figure out what's going on. We have one beat here, one beat here, and two beats here. So one plus one plus two is four. And that's what that top number means. The bottom number means that the quarter note is the note that gets the B. Okay. Now let's see here. Let's just be really clear about that. So if I was to write a steady beat down with just Do. Disappeared on me. There it is. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, the other thing that you might need to know about is the measure line or the bar line. Some people call it the bar line. You could call it whatever you like. And um, yeah, we have the double bar at the end. And that is about it. Um, yeah, cool. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative and um, we'll see you next time. Bye.